Hey, hi everybody. Um, welcome to my channel and today's lesson is going to be how to make a very simple hangman game. This was a request from some of my students and they are just really getting started with programming. So they don't know a lot of the advanced features. They know a little bit about input. They know a little bit about uh, if statements and they know a little bit about loops, but not a lot. And that's about it at this point. So I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. But Hangman has a little bit of a complicated thing with the way the strings work. And so I'm going to try to walk you through that uh, as simply as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, just real quick, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I would appreciate that. So you can get some updates because I do post uh, semi-regularly. And also, just I get asked this question a lot. I am using Genie as my IDE. It is free. It is open source. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I am programming this in Python 3.8. So you can follow me on Twitter at Tokyo EdTech or here, I'm assuming you're watching this, on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import OS. And I'm going to do os.system clear because I want to clear the screen. Now, if you're on Linux like me, I'm on Ubuntu, you just use clear. If you're on Mac, you can use clear. If you're on Windows, I think it's CLS. Uh, it could be CLR, but probably CLS. But we're going to use clear. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is to initialize our game. Again, initialize just means to set the initial values. So again, this is hangman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a word that needs to be guessed. So in this case, I want to do Ubuntu, just because I, that's what I'm using. And yeah, it's kind of an interesting word. And then what I need to do is I need another variable to hold the content of our guess. So I'm going to say guess equals, in this case, I'm just going to make it the same size as Ubuntu. So one U-B-U-N-T-U. And later I'll show you how to you know, make this a little bit more dynamic. Okay. But you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six letters, and here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six dashes. And the dashes are gonna be really, really important. And of course this is Hangman, so we need to be able to keep track of the wrong letters that we are saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little empty. Right now it's empty because we haven't added any letters to the game. All right. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and print the header. And this is just really just the title. So I'm going to say print hangman, you know, and just you know, maybe leave a space there. Um, alternatively, I could put a, a forward slash n here to do the same thing. And since this is a game, and we're gonna have multiple guesses. We're gonna need a loop. So I'm gonna use something called a, oops, a while true loop. So main game loop. And this is while true. So what we're gonna do is we want to print okay, uh, the current guess. And actually, I'm gonna use something called an F string here. So I'm gonna put an F there, and then I'm gonna put guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually I don't want to run that yet because it's going to run forever. So I'm going to go ahead and go, I'm going to ask the user to enter a letter. Please enter a letter. Okay. And notice I called it letter because I'm entering a letter. It, I could have called this X, but X doesn't make a lot of sense here. The other thing I want to do is notice how the word is all capitals. So I want to make sure that this is capital as well. So I'm going to use the upper method. And no matter what I enter, that will convert it to an uppercase letter. Let's go ahead and test the code at this point. Okay, so here's our current guess. Now we'll print the hangman later, so don't, don't stress out about that. And please enter a letter. And I'm going to go ahead and hit U. Okay, of course, there's no code to do anything, but you know, that's where we get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and control or command Z if you're on a Mac or control Z on Linux and Windows. Notice here in Genie, this is something I don't like and I haven't figured out how to fix it yet. The terminal is red and there's a, it might change color. So if I try to run this again, I'm gonna get this error message. File not executed because the terminal may contain some input. 
Control C or Enter to clear it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. It didn't work because the focus is up here. So I'm going to click down here in the terminal and hit Enter. It's really annoying. And if anybody knows a way to stop that from happening, please, please, please comment below. Okay, so we've entered a letter. So the first thing we got to figure out is if this letter is in the word. Fortunately, in Python, this is very, very easy to do. So I'm just going to put, check if the uh, letter is in the word. Okay, so I'm going to put if letter in word. It's that simple in Python. Thank you, Python. We love you. So if the letter that I just entered is in the word, which is the correct word, I'm going to go ahead and just say print, uh, uh, let's see, correct. Okay, let's say good guess. And then else, because it's either in there or not, print bad guess. And later we'll we'll fix this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it. I'm gonna test that and see if it's working. This is something that beginners do that drives me up a wall. Uh, is they'll watch a tutorial like this, they'll type the entire program, and then they'll start testing it. Okay, you need to test your code at every stage. Let's go ahead and test it. Oh, I already ran it, didn't I? Uh, so let's hit. Let's try U because we know it's in there. Good guess. Let's try Q because we know it's not in there. Okay, so I've tested it. So I know I've got a good guess and a bad guess and that this part of the code is working. So if I run into problems from this point, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this section. I mean, I'm going to be adding stuff. But this tells us that up to this point, the program is working as we expect it to. Okay. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. And this is stuff that I know my students haven't seen yet. So try to follow along as carefully as you can. There's a couple new things in here. So what we need to do is we're going to use a temporary variable. And we're going to make it an empty string. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need that anymore. And the temp is going to be used. And you'll see what I do with this. So think about what action actually has to happen here. I've got a word. I've entered the letter U. So I've got a, so I've already figured out if it's in there or not. And now I know it's in there. So in the case of U, it's there here, here, and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something called a slice. So I'm going to check every single letter one by one. I'm going to start at zero because slice indexes start at zero. So this is the zero with character. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Notice the actual length is six. There's six letters, but the first U is zero, B is one, U is two, three, four, and five. So watch what I do here for index. So the index would be zero to five in this case in range the length of the word. And notice I notice the balance of the parentheses. I got a parenthesis here, here, and here, and here. Colon. So what that does is for each index, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we need to know if the letter equals word index. Okay. So in the case of u, does u equal word zero? Yes, it does. Does u equal word one? No, it doesn't. Does u equal word two? Yes, it does. Does word, or does letter, I should say, does letter equal word one, zero, one, two, three? No. Does it equal four? No. Does it equal index five? Yes, it does. So if it does equal, we're going to add to temp the letter. That's the first case. It does equal. Else, or else if, there's a second case. If the guess index, that's our previous guess, does not equal a dash. Oops, that's the wrong line. Sorry about that. Okay. 
So that means that we've already found a letter. So like, let's say we enter U the first time, then we enter B. Then we add the temp plus equals guess index. Okay, so if the letter it does not equal what's in there, now we might get a, a weird error if we enter a, a letter twice, if we entered U two times, but we're gonna assume that nobody does that, um, which is always a bad thing. And so then, otherwise, temp plus equals, we gotta add a dash back. Now watch the, 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 the indentation here. I messed this up when I was testing this program earlier. I had to restart this video, so I was very annoyed. Um, so guess equals temp. And actually what we should go, let's go ahead and try that and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna enter a U. So we know that the U is here, here, and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Oops, I already ran it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so you can see we got current guess, U space, U space, space, U. Okay, let's go ahead and try B. Okay, so far so good. Let's try a letter that's not there. E, okay. So we're still getting bad guesses and we can do Ubuntu, okay? So now the basic program's working. That's, that's essentially Hangman. Uh, the rest of what we gotta do is ex basically uh, just, yeah, make it prettier, I suppose. So this is the hard part of Hangman. Everything else is really easy. Um, so let me walk you through this one more time. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a letter from the user, okay? I've got a word and I've got a guess that has some dashes in it. And dashes are really important. Okay? So I'm checking each index. So in this case, from zero to five, does the letter that I entered equal the that, that letter at that index? So does U equal U? If so, temp, which is empty right now, gets added that U. Okay? Then we go back around to this, then we go to the next letter. B, does U equal B? No. Okay. Um, is it not? Is it not a dash? Okay. Then we add the index. Actually, let's let's we can switch this around, make it a little bit easier. Now that I think about this. Um, well, let's, okay, we'll leave it the way it is. Let's, let's leave well enough alone. This is actually probably better just for you to think through. So if it's not a dash, that means we've previously guessed that letter. And we're just going to add that letter again. We don't need to worry about it. We've already done it. Okay. And then otherwise, it's not the correct guess. It's not one we guessed before. So we just add the dash to the temp. And then what we do is we've just built a new temp. And then we, we change guess to the current temp. That's it. That's it. Let's, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So how do we figure out if the user has correctly guessed it. So check for a winner. So basically, we've got the word, and then we've got a guess. So if the word equals the guess, print, you win, and you live to play another day, since it is hangman. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to ex oops, we want to exit the program and we just use the exit command. Okay, so let's test that again. Notice I type a little code, I test it. Okay, so I'm gonna do U, B, N, T, and what should happen? Boom! You win and you live to play another day. Congratulations. Okay. So there we have the winner code. Now. Now I need to deal with what we're going to do if there's a wrong answer. Okay, so you can see here we've got wrong letters. I created that earlier. We haven't really used it yet. So what I want to do with that is I'm going to say print f uh, wrong. Oops, yeah, wrong guesses. And we put here wrong letters. Okay, again, this is an f string. So when I get something wrong, I don't want to print bad guess. I'm just going to go ahead and say, what was it, bad, wrong letters, plus equals letter. Because that's what I did. I just entered the wrong letter. 
So let's go ahead and test that. Okay, so I'm going to try U again, make sure that's still working. Then I'm going to try Q. Okay, so you can see now I've got Q as my wrong guess, and this is what I have my current guess as. Um, B, let's try, let's try R. Okay, so you can see how it's building up the wrong guesses. Now again, the formatting here is not very good, but you get, you get the idea. So if I just scroll up a little bit, you can see anything I enter that's wrong, it's coming up with wrong guesses. Um, let me go ahead and put just like a forward slash n here so it's a little bit easier to follow. And maybe we'll put a, uh, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Let's try that. Just, yeah, it looks a little bit easier, I think. Let's try u. Okay, that's that's much better. Um, let's try some wrong guesses. Okay, so now we got some spacing and it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so the next thing that's left is to deal with losing. Okay. So we have to decide um, how many wrong guesses we're going to give the user. Okay. Now, when I, I was playing around with this program earlier, I think I came up with, I think it was going to be four or five. So let's, let's say five for now. Um, so when we start the game, well, let's see. Let's, let's, check, let's check for a loser. Um, let's do that first. Check for a loser. So how we're gonna do this, we're gonna keep it really simple. Notice that every time we make a wrong guess, we're adding a letter to wrong letters. So because of this, we can use the length of that as our kind of our meter. So if the length of wrong, wrong letters, let's say equals five, print you lose, sorry, 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 sucker. Okay, and then we'll exit the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. I gotta clear that again. Okay, so I'll try my U, so make sure that's still working. A, B, ooh, C, D, E. And here should be my fifth letter. And my game is over. So this is base, this is Hangman. Okay, we, we've essentially done the program. Now the only thing really left to add is to print out the, the Hangman, the Hangman graphics. So that's gonna be pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna say print the Hangman, <laughs> print the Hangman. Um, actually, well, okay, I'll leave it there and then I'll show you why that's not the good spot for it. So what I'm gonna do? So if the length of wrong letters equals zero. So this is gonna be our empty gallows. I'll actually tell you what we're gonna do. Um, probably the easiest way to do this is actually to do it the other way, the other way around. So if length of wrong letters equals five, we'll do the full one first. Print. Now watch what I do here. I'm gonna put three quotation marks. Then I'm going to come all the way back to this side. I'm going to go ahead and make my gallows. I think that should be big enough. Okay. And one, two, three, and then parentheses. Now what I want to do here is I want to make my final gallows. So I'm going to go ahead and do the head. I'm going to do the body, let's see, body, and then let's see, feet, <laughs> so feet, and, and then we'll give this person some hands. Now, if he's dead, maybe make, hand, make the hands down here, okay? So this is end of game. Okay, now, those of you who have programmed before, you can probably see there's a slight logic error. Um, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that in a little bit. So this is my base, okay? And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and print this here. Now I could make these ifs, but we'll just leave it as it is. And again, there's still a couple little problems here that we're gonna fix in a bit. And so five, four, three, Two, 
one. And remember, when we start the game, the length of wrong letters is actually zero because there are no letters in it. So in that case, I need to delete. Okay, so this is how the game starts. There's, there's nothing in the gallows. Okay, and then the game progresses. I get one wrong answer and we put the head in. Okay, game progresses and I need to delete and put the body in. Game progresses and we need to put the arms in. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it a little bit stricter. Uh, the game progresses and we have all of the body parts. And then what I would do probably here is I might delete this and add a level here and then add like, you know, the rope. Okay. And actually what I want to do, I should have done this differently. When, while, while the, the character is still alive, I'm going to keep his hands up. And then if he dies, then his hands will go down. So that gives, that gives us a little bit of, you know, kind of little animation there. I don't know if it's good animation or bad animation. Um, so let's try this. Let's see what happens. Enter a letter. Now you notice it, we didn't print that out yet. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Q. Ooh, and there's my head. Okay, I'm going to do U. Okay, I'm going to try A, B, C, D. Now notice how this didn't come out correct. We'll fix that in a minute. And I got one more guess, basically. E. Okay, now notice how it didn't print out. And notice how that leg is, is a little bit messed up. Okay. And the leg is messed up because we need to, with, we should probably do it here too. Forward slashes, or these backslashes, I forget which one, they need to be doubled up. And this is just a, a weird little computer thingy. Um, and so I need to do the same thing for the foot here. Okay, I need to fix those. And again, remember how it didn't print the last one because we checked for a loser here and then we exited the program. So let's go ahead and print the hangman first, then check for the loser. We're gonna put that at the end. The other thing I wanna do is I want to, at the beginning of the game, I just wanna print out one hangman and that should not be indented. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, hangman, current guess. I'm gonna go ahead and do my U. Alrighty, wrong guess. Okay, so let's do A, B. Oh, B's in there, so C, uh-oh, D. Still alive, oh my gosh. E, oh my gosh, and then the last one, he's hung. Okay, that kind of looks pretty good. I don't know if that looks good or bad. Uh, maybe we can make the uh, legs uh, straight at the end. This poor guy. Um, let's try that. I'm gonna do that one more time. Um, I, I really like these old school uh, graphics. C, D, E, F, and here we go. Oh my gosh, this poor guy. Um, yeah, I forgot that there. So that kind of screwed things up. Um, okay, and also when you lose, we should probably print out the correct word. Print, and I'm gonna use an F string. The word was Oops, and we'll say word, quotation marks. Again, I'm adding stuff, I gotta test it, which is not the worst thing in the world to do here. Okay, E, C, D, E, and F. Okay, and there's our poor dead person. Okay, so that is that. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, is this would be pretty boring if it was always the same word. So, what we can do here is we're gonna use something called the random module. So I'm gonna go ahead and import random. And what I'm gonna do, watch, this is take a couple lines. I'm gonna make a new list. Oh, we have done lists. So I'm gonna make a list of words. Notice the square brackets and quotation marks. So Ubuntu, okay. Sorry, my touchpad's, trackpad's very sensitive. I'm gonna turn that off. Use my mouse. Um, so I'm going to add Ubuntu 
say Python, Tokyo EdTech, and you can add as many words as you like. It doesn't matter. Notice it's quotation marks, comma, quotation marks, comma, EdTech, and what else can we add here? Ubuntu, Tokyo, and Genie. But you can add your own words. So what we do here is actually pretty cool. Notice we imported random. So we'll go ahead and do random dot choice words. And what that does is it chooses a random word from this list. Now the problem is now that guess is six. It's always six. Now that'll work for Python because it's also six, but it will not work for Tokyo EdTech and it won't work for Genie. Okay. So what we do, and this is a Python thing, which is actually pretty cool. We can actually multiply by length of words. Uh, well, length of words, excuse me. So that will, that will give, so if this has six, this will give us six dashes. This is six, it'll give us six dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It'll give us 11 dashes. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. And so here's the word. Now we know what the word is going to be because it only has five dashes, but somebody you know running your program might not know that. So let's go ahead and try A. Let's do L, that's the most common letter. Ooh, N, yes. Oh, it isn't, isn't. okay, L, N, R, S, ooh, T, G. Let's see, A, yes. Now, of course, we know it's Genie. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get the whole thing working. Okay, you win and you live to play another day. What I might do, actually, what I might do in that situation is I might uh, copy this guy here and let's see, where's that at? Where's that code at? And before I exit that, print, again, the three quotation marks. Notice how the indenting is, is not concerned here between the three quotation marks. So we'll let that person live and then put the three quotation marks and so this person looks really happy. So let's go ahead and run it. And again, we got to test it. Okay, so L, N, R, S, P. Oh, oh my gosh, what's this one? Oh, Ubuntu. <laughs> Duh. And so let's go ahead and win it. And now my player looks really happy. You, you win and you live to play another day. Okay, so that is how you do a very simple hangman game. Okay, so hopefully that was followable. Again, the really complicated part is this whole section here where you're comparing each letter to the letter, you know, to the letter in the temp or in the temp. Well, you're adding to the temp. You're comparing each letter to the guess and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, watch that section a couple times and hopefully it'll, it'll be clear to you how it works. If not, you can always just copy this and, and try to figure it out a little bit later. And then, um, you know, you check for a winner and then we print the hangman and then check for a loser. So that is that. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll put links below to this code and uh, to some other things and stuff about Genie. And again, please subscribe, click the bell if you like what you see and wanna learn more. Okay, have a great day and keep on coding.